Big Falls drops about 40 feet over four distinct drops. And I've always walked my boat around this rapid. But this past week, the flows were a lot lower, and my brother Scott and I saw a line and decided to fire it up. <laughs> After the first huge boof, I needed to ferry across the river to get into position for the next drop. But I took one too many strokes. I wanted to launch here, but ended up too far right and got pushed left by this jet flume of water. And instead of being close to this rock where I wanted to be, I ended up right where I didn't want to be. Kayaking's unique because after a crash, the most dangerous part is just beginning. But having a safety plan on the river is paramount. We had my sister-in-law, Heidi, stationed between the third and fourth drop, and my brother, Scott, was down below. Heidi made a perfect throw and pulled me out of the hole and over the final drop, where I penciled in and balled up like a rock in an effort to go as deep as possible to get under the hydraulic and float to safety. Oh God. I swam to shore utterly exhausted as the adrenaline that was pumping so fiercely began to fade away. Meanwhile, my brother Scott retrieved my boat and my paddle. Well, I'm glad I came out of that one. My biggest mistake there was overestimating my abilities. I'm definitely not proud of this, but I wanted to share it in case anybody ever finds themselves in a similar situation. Steve Dent, six on your side.